The 11th World Cup final between Holland and Argentina began with an argument. Luis César Menotti, the Argentine coach, was edgy. The kickoff had been delayed. René van der Kerkhoff, the Dutch winger, had suffered a wrist injury during the competition and the Italian referee, Signor Gonella, was not happy with the precautions of the Dutch doctor. A simple medical issue quickly threatened to boil over into a major political incident. The Dutch weren't happy with the complaints. Argentina weren't happy with the wasted time. In the end, van der Kerkhoff did appear and both sides set to work on making history. Both had been to a final just once before. Both had yet to win the game's biggest prize. Early on, Johnny Rep found space for a header, but couldn't hit the target. Rep, Neskins and Rensenbrink were the key men if Holland were to find the creative edge to hurt the home team. With 15 minutes gone, Argentina responded, but the shot from captain Daniel Passarella found only the arms of keeper Youngblood, playing in his second World Cup final in succession. A few minutes later, Passarella was forward again, but his shot flew over. A big escape for the Dutch. Youngblood appealed for offside. He was seeing things. Argentina's passionate fans were losing their early voice. Holland were more than coping, and when Rep dashed into the area, many began to fear the worst, but Friol did superbly to deny the blonde striker. Argentina's goalkeeper would become one of his team's key players in the final. But Youngblood was matching him for the moment. Once more, he was well placed to save from Passarella. The match appeared to be reaching stalemate as half time approached when Mario Kempes bustled forward. His strength took him through, and Argentina had the opening goal. Down came the ticker tape, up went the volume to deafening levels. Kempes had scored his fifth goal in three games, and Argentina were in front. The home defence were not, however, desperately convincing. Before half-time, Holland fashioned another chance. Willy van der Kerkhoff crossed, and his twin brother René headed back. Ronnie Rensenbrink had a great chance to equalise. But again, Fiol was in imperious form. Kempes had given Argentina the lead, but how they were relying on their keeper to protect it. Coach Minotti wasn't overwhelmed with his team's lead going into the break. The Argentine fans were beginning to celebrate, and things would have improved still further if Luque had made the most of a wonderful opening at the start of the second half. But Youngblood's performance in the Dutch goal continued to give his team real hope. Eight minutes from time, that resistance paid off. Substitute Naninga rose to head home the equaliser. On as a replacement for the injured Johnny Rep, Naninga played the role of wild card wonderfully. Argentina's defence didn't know what to expect, and Holland had come back from the brink. The final would be going to extra time. Referee Gonella blew for the end of 90 minutes. The first period of extra time was uneventful. The Dutch defence still looked vulnerable and the pace of the Argentine attack often troubled them. But there was too much franticness about the way the Argentines approached their play. But then Kempes once again drove forward, all pace and directness, with thought as well. Again, Holland couldn't cope, and this time even Youngblood had no answer. Kempes fortunate with a deflection, but he'd scored his sixth goal of the tournament, enough to win him the golden boot as top scorer. More importantly, Argentina were only 15 minutes away from their first world title. One lucky break for Kempes, perhaps two, but you had to admire the long-haired striker's sheer determination. Two on the line, he still nudged the ball past them. This time there was no way back for Holland. 
five minutes from time. Kempes tormented them again. This time the ball broke for Bertoni, and Argentina had the third goal they needed. The celebrations could really begin. Holland's defence had been stretched once too often. They appealed for handball, convinced Kempes had got an unfair break in the build-up. But there was no whistle from the referee. For the second time in two World Cups, Holland's dream would falter at the final stage. Referee Gonella brought the 11th World Cup final to an end and made sure the ball was going home in his souvenir case. For the first time in their history, Argentina were World Cup winners, joining Uruguay and Brazil in the South American pantheon. Kempes as top scorer, Fiol their superb final barrier, and Minotti, their chain-smoking genius of a coach, were the three special heroes.